Is this the new Drake? <laughs> is this the new Views? I haven't heard Views. Is this what we're listening to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's a remake. Good morning, everybody. Darren jo Jones joining us. It's easy for me to say. Let me have another sip of this. Jones joining. So this morning, uh, Dina, uh, you know, and, and contributing to yeah. things that we find interesting. We send <laughs> emails out. And this morning, she sent three different emails so by mean. about 4 o'clock this morning about avocados. Thank you. Which I she finds you extremely interesting. interesting this morning. Oh, yeah. A lot so, of people eat the avocado. Thank you. Uh, people, yeah. It, it's it was, a part of their day. It's a good fat. It's a good fat. It's fruit. a good fat. We know that, though. No, yes. no, no. It okay, was but, how to us. ripen it quickly. If somebody's coming over and you need to make it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why are you know you what? So mean? We had some company on the weekend, uh, and it was Saturday afternoon, and I was saying to myself, honey, my avocado isn't ripe enough right now. I'd I like to ripen that. I came back from the land of guac. Thank you know you. what I mean? If you want to make a good guac, you need to ripen it. Yes. So it goes on to say well, you, you must you wrap it in avocado? foil and put it in a 200 degree oven, and it takes between 20 minutes to an hour, and it's instantly ripened if you need the guac. That's a big or the time, time range. 20 minutes to an hour. Better than three days. I'm sorry. I'm saying, I'll make my point again. The wraps win game seven. <laughs> and we're talking the about avocados. The wraps win game seven, and you guys want to talk about avocados? <laughs> Wait, there was more. Are you serious? There was more. Some people oh, are now eating more. the pits. There was a second study saying they're eating the pits of the avocado Who for health this? benefits, and so they're grinding it in their their blenders and putting it inside protein drinks. Wins, do you know this, right? Yeah, so uh, it's a study out of Penn State University, and you just throw it in a blender, and you blend it with your with everything, like your Vitamix, and Thank you just you. put it in and let it go. Thank Wait, you. Winston, can you check out <laughs> NBA.com? <laughs> <laughs> it's locked on my computer. Wait, 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 there was there's, more. There's so a the, third story. The third story was yes. how do you keep your half avocado from browning? So what you do is you put olive oil and then saran wrap. Another trick was to cut red onions in a bowl. You sit it on top, and the onions, the things that make you cry, are the things that to keep it fresh, and the third one was I don't remember. Don't you just leave the pit? No, that, that's a myth. Oh. That's a myth. The only way this could be worse <laughs> is if you segue into how to do an avocado dish for your Toronto Maple Leafs lottery draft pit <laughs> party. Follow Shame the on avocado you. Pit bowl. I seven. thought they were great. I thought they were great stories. I bet you you guys will appreciate these. This is you know what? The other part is, so I, think, I think DeRozan eats avocados. Yeah. <laughs> See? That's at least close. <laughs> at least that's close. Thanks. Fine, that's probably something there. It's a superfood. When when you see when you see Dina at a party, you want to park yourself next to her. Because <laughs> honestly, the story she will regale you oh with. She'll go, those are some good looking <laughs> avocados you got yeah, there. Yeah, got tips. Tips for days. <laughs> Anyway, they won game seven, and <laughs> it's the greatest sporting achievement this year. But Jerry who cares? Jones. Enjoy your avocado. You speak the truth. It is 8 o'clock. This is Breakfast Television. <laughs>